All right, in today's edition of the uh, C-Suite Sit-Down, there's a new trend in, in sweet treats, you might say, popping up around the country. Yogurt, frozen yogurt. Red Mango is an all-natural frozen yogurt chain. It comes to the United States from South Korea, or it did that a couple years ago, and now it's uh, debuting its newest flavor. With more on where the company's going, the founder, president, and CEO, Dan Kim, joins me uh, this morning. What's the newest flavor, by the way? It's called Tangamonium. Tangamonium, what's that like? Flavor we invented. Wow, you came up with it out of nowhere. What, what does it taste like? It has notes of fruit and citrus. All it, right. Everyone describes it in their own way. It's, it's supposed to make you happy. Well, <laughs> right. Well, a lot of foods are supposed to make you happy, and the idea here behind frozen yogurt is kind of, as it has been for years, the healthy ice cream, right? So uh, you get that alternative, and you come here, as I said, a couple years ago to the United States, and now you're expanding. The economy hasn't been great. Tell us about the expansion plans. We've been expanding primarily through franchising, uh, mm -hmm. looking at entrepreneurs who are interested in single unit to multi-unit operators, people who want to own their own business and control their own future, and we've been able to grow successfully through that model. Interesting. So you held a, an event here for franchisees um, in New York recently. Mm -hmm. You know, sell me on it. Say I wanted to be a, a franchisee of Red Mango. What, why would I want to get involved in it? It's a cool on-trend brand. It's about healthy products that are really good for you. People connect with the brand emotionally. Economically, the returns are very attractive, a relatively low investment for, uh, to start the business up, and the a a average unit volumes and the sales do really well. Give us the number. You saw the, the, the yogurt there is melting under the studio light, so we'll be as quick as we can in the interview sure. so we can eat the yogurt. Now, give us some numbers to back that up if you can. You we, said relatively low investments and pretty good returns. What does that mean? So to start the investment, it's anywhere from about $200,000 to $400,000 to build your red mango. And okay. the average unit volumes that we do report are about $500,000 and above. And the returns are fantastic in the sense that the... Uh, Profit margins are very attractive for the franchise. Well, those are if they work out, right? So it depends on the area that you're in, I'm sure, and, and what the demand is going to be like. What type of areas, um, generally speaking, do you, do you like to have a franchise in? What's working well for you for this type of franchise? Lifestyle centers with a lot of foot traffic, destinations, malls, indoor, outdoor, everything where people really want to congregate and relax and hang out in. Pretty stiff competition, right, as we see the map of, of some of where the existing markets are there in, in yellow and where you're thinking about expanding to in the red. So you're on the coast. You're thinking about the middle of the country, certainly in Texas and, and, and places like that, of going into in the future. Um, there's competition like there is everywhere. Why would someone go to a red mango as opposed to going to one, one of the other frozen yogurt places? We're the healthiest. That's what sets us apart from the competition. We really embrace all natural and probiotics and live and active culture yogurt, and none of our competitors can make those claims. What does healthiest mean? I mean, how healthy is something like this? I mean, how do, how would you, how do you put that in numbers? All natural, gluten-free, about 100 calories per serving. And 100 calories per serving? Wow, that's, that is pretty low. Yeah. And uh, I hope it doesn't taste terrible. No, it tastes great. Because <laughs> that's always the, that's always the, uh, what's your favorite flavor, by the way? Right now, I love the tangamonium. It's great with uh, any type of fruit. And so you throw a little fruit, a few strawberries on top of it or yeah, something like that? Yeah, absolutely. And mangoes. And, and, and mangoes work pretty well, too. Well, interesting. So um, from here on out, you talked about expanding, and we showed the map in the central part of the country, which I think is interesting because you've gone the coast, Correct. and now you're looking at taking the Midwest on or the South on, uh, is, is that a different, completely different dynamic in terms of demographics and everything else? Yeah, the key uh, driver about a demographics is health conscious folks who want to live a healthier lifestyle. And we've been able to find that everywhere. We have a strong presence in LA and New York, but we've done very well in Salt Lake City, in San Francisco, in Seattle, and Chicago, and we'll be opening in Dallas soon as well. All right, Dan, good luck with everything. Thank Thanks you. for coming in to talk to us about uh, Red Mango. Dan Great. Kim, good stuff, appreciate it.